Want to make yacht visuals and pop bottles in Monte Carlo? Well, today I'm going to show you the techniques to do just that. The first thing we're going to need is a back plate. So I grabbed this one off of Canva and we can hit Alt B to open up our viewport configuration. In here, let's use File and let's load up our image. If we hit Apply to Active View, we can see that's now in our viewport. And we can hit OK. Let's just quickly change our render output to HD because I know that this image is HD, which is 1920 by 1080. And if I hit Shift F, it's going to show our safe frame. So that's all in proportion. Now we're going to need a boat. Cosmos. So here's the yacht bring that in I'm going to roughly line this up and this boat's a little bit smaller than this one so just keep that in mind um, the scaling is not going to look exactly right but for the sake of this example it should be fine add a v-ray physical camera change the focal length to 18 as I saw in photo information that the focal length was 18 so let's zoom that in and when trying to line this up show horizon line is also a really useful tool so you can see this black line now across here what we want to do is line our horizon line up with our horizon of our image something we need to do is go to the front view so press f on the keyboard and the boat's actually grounded from the lowest point don't actually want we want it to sit in the water let's just see in the left view so where that black line is is where the water line will be so, all right so now we're going to need some light so let's just grab one from the chaos cosmos and just make sure that it roughly resembles our image so i'm just going to bring this in but in dome light we have lock to texture on and this will mean when we rotate our light the sun will rotate with it so now if i run an interactive render and i start rotating our light we can see that the sun is moving and you can see from the shadows in our image the light is kind of coming from behind the boat so i think somewhere around 120 in the Z is gonna look about right. And now for some magic, which is camera mapping. So think of it as the camera has a built-in projector. Add a V-Ray plane. And what we're gonna do is to project some water onto this plane to give the boat something to reflect. So I'm gonna quickly hide our boat and I'm just gonna create a sphere. And if you've watched any of the earlier videos, you'll know exactly what this transform toolbox is. And what I'm going to do is open up the material editor. So M on the keyboard and I'm going to make a very quick chrome material. And apply that to our sphere. And I'm going to make another just B-Ray material and just make sure this is like a mid gray. And in the diffuse of this mid gray material, I'm going to add a map and it's under general and it's called the camera map per pixel. So let's add that. And for camera, we want to add our camera so we can select it, hit camera and select our camera, jump back in, pressing C. And for texture, we're going to load up our bitmap of our background image. And let's apply this to the V-Ray plane and we'll run our interactive render again. And now we can see that we have this water projected onto this plane. I'm just gonna turn on auto exposure. So under V-Ray camera, I'm just gonna turn on auto exposure. Okay, so we can see if we go to our camera that the image looks correct, but if we move to perspective and start moving around, we can actually see that our image is actually mapped from our camera. So everything else will get distorted. We can delete our sphere and we can unhide our boat. And let's run the interactive render. There's a couple of materials that I wanna change. What we can do is press M on the keyboard to open up the material editor. And let's also open up the V-Ray material browser. And in the glass, I wanna replace our current glass with like a tinted black glass. So this one, for example, if I select a new slot and use the eyedropper tool and select our boat, we're gonna see all the materials in a multi-sub. I can see that we have a clear glass material here. So I'm just gonna drag and drop this black glass into that slot. And that's just gonna replace all our glass with the black tinted glass. And I also wanna replace this white material with this car plane flakes white, will look good. And there's also the chrome on the anchor. So let's go to metal, weathered metal material, will look cool. Uh, we'll put that over chrome and let's run our interactive again i don't really like this black material being by the anchor as well so 
what I'm going to do is grab that white car paint and just drag and drop that over the black material and that should make this the white paint. And before we render, I'm just going to add a couple of render elements that are going to help us out in the post-production. Render settings, go over to render elements and I'm going to add a V-Ray AO, which is ambient occlusion. I'm going to add a reflection. I want a wire color and we can also add a denoiser as well. And then I'll hit OK. Something else we can have a quick look at before we render are our layers over here. So what we can do is add a background and in here load up your texture so we can actually see the background. What is also useful is if you click on foreground you can kind of switch between the two to see how they line up. Boat looks a little bit more green from the reflections. A really quick way to sort that out would be to add a white balance, add a very slight green tint but again that's something we can really do in Photoshop. So all that's left to do now is hit render and we'll save all these separate render elements as PNGs. And then over in Photoshop, I've got our background open and I'm just gonna drag and drop our effect results on top with the spot healing tool. And we'll use that as best we can. So I'm gonna go back to our back plate and just work out some of these areas and see what Photoshop can do about removing them. So it can do a pretty good job, but we're also gonna to need to use the clone stamp, which means we can just hold Alt, select certain areas and just brush them out. And also down here, it's quite good when you got a, 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 a what a horizon. It's also quite good when you've got a, a, it's also quite good when you've got a horizon, and you can hold Alt and select on that horizon line and just move that across. Let's also bring on this wire color, and I'm going to select that V-ray plane that we put in, and let's add a mask and control I to invert that mask. So what that's done is get rid of that shadow and then we can use a soft brush, not too big, and just paint in some of these waves and you can press X to like bring back certain sections. You might also want to try this splatter brush. Things could probably be quite small, but yeah, you spend some time on this. Um, spend a lot more time on it than that. Something else that I find useful to do is grab that background, Control J, and just bring it to the top. And I am going to put a filter, blur, and glazion blur, glazion, gaussian, gaussian, gaussian blur. Um, just pump it up to a thousand. And what that's going to do is kind of like average out the color, put that onto color, and holding Alt, apply it only to our yacht itself. So it's just kind of added a color tint and just bring that down to like 10%. Um, and finally, let's add the AO. So this is the ambient occlusion. It's just gonna add some depth, put it on multiply. And we are also holding control. I'm just gonna steal the mask from our yacht layer and apply that. And finally, let's throw the reflections on if you wanna crank them up. And we'll do the same, we'll grab the mask using control from below. And I'm just gonna put it onto like a soft light. We'll just have that on like 50%. And there's our image. So if you like this video, then like this video.